Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks in Battlefield Hardline to hopefully give you the leg up on your opponents. The first thing I want to cover is the difference between the melee weapons. We have the hammers, then we have the bats or the batons, and then we have the knife. Now the knife has the option for the quick kill. You can swipe very quickly to take down your opponent in two swipes, and if you attack from behind you will do a quick takedown without the option for an interrogation. The bat is very similar, except if you do a takedown from behind, it takes a little bit longer longer than the knife and you have the option to interrogate your suspect afterwards. Now the hammer is a different beast altogether. You can't do any takedowns with this weapon. You're just going to swing and kill. It's a one shot on any opponent. It's also the only melee weapon that will damage vehicles. You can damage any vehicle other than the counter attack truck or the mobile command center. In addition to that, you can kill drivers out of the driver's seat in any vehicle that doesn't have bulletproof glass. This can actually be done with any melee weapon. And remember to always aim for the head for that single swipe takedown. Now the general movement of Battlefield Hardline hasn't really changed too much, but if you do have your pistol out, much like Counter-Strike, you will actually run faster. In addition to that, you can now break through glass just by vaulting through the window rather than having to destroy the glass and then vault through it. Now there's a couple new additions to the riot shield that actually make it much more worthwhile. The first is that any shot you block actually gives you points, as you'll see I'm gaining points here for drawing fire. Now should you survive long enough, the riot shield can actually take enough damage to be destroyed completely. And personally, I think one of the most useful things about the Riot Shield is that it will block shots on your back when you're not even using it. I run it this way all the time. Now let's talk about explosive devices in Hardline. You'll see here I've got the gas truck, I've got some C4 on it, I've parked it, and as I run out of the parking structure, you'll see a criminal with a solid wall between him and the gas truck. When I detonate this truck, you'll notice that he's going to die anyway. The gas truck explosion goes through walls, pretty much any wall as far as I can figure. The same goes for incendiary grenades, and this is a cheap little trick if somebody runs into the elevator, chuck an incendiary grenade right outside the door, and the AOE damage will kill them, hopefully before they can get to the top. As far as I can tell, it doesn't really matter what kind of surface you throw the incendiary grenade by, the fire will actually burn through it. Now lots of vehicles in Hardline will blow up from one single grenade. This large police truck here will actually detonate from a single grenade and it will catch on fire, either killing anybody right behind it or causing them to move. Now interestingly, the cop car right in front of it is actually impervious to your grenade explosion or any sort of explosive device, so it's a pretty solid piece of cover. Other cars, however, throughout different maps will explode, so it pays to figure out which cars explode and which ones don't. Be especially careful when taking cover behind or inside some of the bigger moving trucks as they will also explode from one single grenade. Now one thing that people have been curious about is will the reinforced chassis for sedans or coupes allow you to take an RPG shot? Unfortunately it will not, so you will take more damage with the reinforced chassis, you just won't survive an RPG. Now gas grenades are a fairly hot commodity in Hardline for two reasons. One, it's a great way to get people out of rooms. They'll start taking damage, they gotta run out of there. And two, once they've been affected by gas, they will actually take double damage. The gas mask really becomes so much more valuable when you consider this effect. Now many of the vehicles in Hardline have a lot of weapon options. This is the counter attack truck and if you upgrade it from its standard gun to the HMG, you now get a weapon that's not only great for taking out other armor targets, but it's still extremely effective at taking out infantry targets. Its secondary shot shoots a smoke grenade, but that can also be upgraded to shoot a gas grenade, and considering that that will also make infantry targets take double damage, you can really see the potential of this as a counter infantry weapon. Now if you run with the stunt driver perk and add the reinforced chassis onto the counter attack truck, it's going to be a lot faster and stronger, so you can actually upgrade some vehicles quite significantly. Now say you're a big fan of the battle rifles in Hardline, but they just kick a little bit too hard for you to aim accurately. Well, if you put in the time, get enough kills with them, the angled grip and compensator will make this gun shoot like a dream. Those two attachments will make any battle rifle significantly more accurate, and I think you'll find them to be strong competitors for the assault rifles. Now obviously, upgrading your guns or buying new guns and getting gear costs money. It's the currency in Hardline, but how do you get it as fast as possible? That's something that a lot of people want to know. Hotwire is obviously one of those things that people are flocking to for a good consistent quick way to get cash in this game, but there's a few other ways that work incredibly well. Playing blood money defensively can be incredibly lucrative. Killing somebody by your cash pile will not only give you Vault Defender, but if they have money on them, you'll also get a carrier takedown 
SmackDown. In addition to that, if you take the money that they just dropped, you'll get points for picking up that money and returning that money. Now while defending the cash pile, should any of your teammates come by and drop off their own cash, you will get a cash deposit assist, which is worth 150 points. So there's so many different ways to make money while defending your own cash pile, it's insane. Applying an objective-based boost will increase this even further. Anyway, that pretty much wraps it up for today's tips and tricks video. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.